Hi, did you know that you can run SAP T codes directly from within Power BI? Watch the next few minutes and I'll show you how. Here at DVW Analytics, we've created a game changing console that allows you to do exactly that. So from directly within Power BI, we can connect to multiple SAP objects. We build connections to those objects from within the console and these can be consumed directly from within Power BI. So here's how the magic works. We start from Power BI and look to get data from a source. We look for our add-in software under DVW and connect. That gives us visibility of the connections we created already in our console or we can create a new one. When we choose to create a new data connection, the DVW console takes us through the process. Firstly, we choose the type of data we want from SAP. Next, we connect to our system entering our SAP credentials. Now we're ready to select the transaction code we're interested in. In this example, we're going to use the financial T code FBL3N. When we run it, we can enter parameters or select one of the variants saved on SAP. Using this button, I can copy those values across into the console and I can see them here, company code equals 3000, GL, some dates for instance. Next, I can design the report. Not all T codes come out in an analytics friendly form. But our software can automatically analyze the SAP structure and suggest configurations that will tidy the data and prepare it ready for Power BI. You can see those here, whether it be ignoring rows because they're totals, identifying header rows for tables and header values sitting outside the data. We can automatically bring those in and as you can see, the structure then becomes much more usable within an analytics framework. We can further prepare the data set by ignoring columns or changing their data types. When we're happy, we can review the data, see it on the screen here, and then save that as our connection ready to use within Power BI. Once we've given the connection a name, we can go back to Power BI, refresh our list, and consume that connection within the Power BI framework. You can see a preview of that here, and that data can be used anywhere within Power BI. Even more interesting is we can embed these connections within sequences in Power Query. Here's an example where we have parameters created which match those that are used to control the transaction code within SAP. Using some more standard Power Query functionality, we can then build a table of filters which will be understood by the connection within the DVW console. This will control the data coming from the T code. And now it's really easy to build a one-line query using DVW functions to call the specific connection we're interested in and apply the set of filters that we've built. You can see that's as simple as inputting values into the bespoke function from DVW. When we run the function, we simply need to provide authentication using Windows or basic authentication. That connects us to the console, which then does all the work run the T code, apply the filters, make the configuration changes and bring back the data into Power BI. Once it's here, it's just Power BI data so we can manipulate it as normal, creating date fields, value fields as required, and then finally publish the Power Query sequences into Power BI where they can be consumed into dashboards and other analytics. You can see that here, if we open the query, we see the fields from the T-code and we can use those as we wish. So we can create our dashboard, but not only that, it's parameterized. So we can update the data here by changing the parameters. Applying those changes makes another call back to our console with new parameters for the T-code bringing back refresh data. I hope this video has given you an idea how revolutionary and powerful this tool is. The idea to control SAP calls directly from within Power BI for any level of user. If you'd like to see more, then please visit us at our website at dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.